Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I am Rodia, I'm a student of English Literature, Faculty of Humanity, Andalas University I'm from English Phonology, Class B In this video, I will explain about phonemes, allophone, phone, contrast distribution, and complementary distribution Before going to the topic, uh, I will talk about all things linguistic and study linguistic and also study about phonetic, semantic, morphology, phonology, syntax, and sociolinguistic. But in this video, I will only explain about the branch of phonology that is phonemes, phones, alvon, contrastive distribution, and complementary distribution. Alright, uh, the first thing that I explain is uh, phonemes. What is the phonemes? Phoneme is the smallest unit of sound in a word that distinguishes sound unit in a language or can make a difference in its pronunciation as well as its meaning. For example, what is different between the word fast and vast? Fast and vast have four sounds and they differ in the first position, fa and va. But the other sounds are the same. F is voiceless. V is voice. F is voiceless labyrinthal fricative, and V is voice labyrinthal fricative. F and V are two different sounds because they contrast meaning or they two different phonemes. Another example like the word pet and pet. V a is the same. V a is the same, but D is voice. The is voiceless. The and the are two different sounds because they contrast meaning or they two different phonemes. The is voiceless alveolar stuff. The is voiceless alveolar stuff. The difference between fonts and phonemes is fonts is what you really hear, while phonemes are mental reality or cognitive reality. Fonts are any sound of language that can be consistently and individually produced. And recognized by the speaker of language. Next, uh, minimal pair. Why is the minimal pair is very important? Because they are used to demonstrate that two points are two separate phonemes in the language. For example, the word fast and vast and the word ram and lamb, v and f are two different phonemes. Or they are just two different fonts. Fa and v is two different fonts or phonemes. Another example, ram and lam. Ra and la are two different phonemes or just two different fonts. Next, uh, alvon. Alvon are fonts. But alavon is a part of the phoneme that can distinguish sound from how a person pronounce them or how a person spell them but does not distinguish their meaning. For example, the word top. Tops, it's pronounced with top. Top. You say top with th, with expression that is by poof of air which is indicated by using superscript h. Or aspiration. So we describe the and the the with aspiration and the is aspirated. So if you say the word without not aspirated, I mean you say only top, not top. It doesn't mean you're getting new word or get, getting new meaning because the and the is not two different phonemes. This is the complementary distribution. P with, with, with expression occurs in initial position. P after S or occurs in the middle position. And P in word finale. This is are uh, several distribution of the first the first is p that occurs in the first position is uh, aspiration then p occurs in the middle position is not aspiration and p in word finale is not aspiration too
break. Type the distribution types. There are three kinds of distribution, namely complementary distribution, contrastive distribution, and variation uh, that I talking later. Distribution speed sound is the new, I'm sorry, is the way sounds are distributed within the phonology or phonological inventory sound system to tell us whether two or more sounds or fonts are all of ones of the same or of different phonemes. It refers to the set of phonetic environments in which a phone occurs that consists of the sound that surround it, the sounds that precede it, and the sound that follow it. Right, uh, this is the two kinds of distribution. The first one is contrastive distribution, and the second one is complementary distribution. Contrastive distribution. Contrastive distribution is a situation which two fonts occur in the same environment or when two sound occurs in the similar situation and result in semantic contrast. For example, they are bright and bright. Bright and bright have four I'm sorry have uh, five sounds and they were in first position b and b but other sounds are the same b and b are contrast in english it's also same with rock and lock rah and la a contrast in english to determine whether the contrastive distribution of two or more sounds occur in a given language or a given dataset, you need to find two words that have the same number of fonts and that differ in one font in the same position, like bah and bah or rah and lah. Next, complementary distribution. Complementary distribution is a relation between the variants of a phoneme, each of which occur in a certain set of phonological environments. These variants are called allophones. This is the complementary distribution. The first one is tap, spot, bat. Tap occurs in first position or word initial and it's aspirated. The second one is spot occurs in word medial or in the middle position is not aspirated and the last is bad occurs in word final or in the end of word is not aspirated we we can also uh, draw bit from this right uh, it's that is about fonts phonemes uh, Contrast distribution and complementary distribution that I know. I'm um, sorry if I make a mistake. Uh, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.